Hello there. My name's Pete, Mike Mike Zero Tango Whiskey X-Ray. Currently in Geneva, Switzerland, signing HB9 Delta Sierra Uniform. In this short video would like to show you a hybrid system integrating a logging program, a software-defined radio and a hardware radio, the FT2000 from Yezu. It's not dramatically new, but probably I haven't seen anything quite like this. The SDR radio is not used as an IF pan adapter, but in fact as a third receiver. The effect is the same, but the configuration is a lot easier. So let's take a look quickly at the hardware part of this. There's your everyday's computer, it's an i3 running Windows 7. There's the FT2000. There's a PMSDR, software defined receiver. There's an audio card to work with the receiver. Since the PMSDR works as a third receiver, I had to solve the problem of, of uh, how to feed the antenna signal. And what I've done, I used the uh, external antenna input and output the FT2000 has to hook up something like a filter, a band filter in a multi-multi contest environment. And I joined them with a short length of uh, cable with the TPL junction. And that, so that's the output for uh, the RX antenna and that's the input or vice versa, I don't remember. Anyway, this is a closed loop between out and in for the external antenna on the FT2000. And you have a T-junction. From the T-junction, here's the cable going to the PMSDR, so, uh, the software-defined receiver. So the receiver would have the antenna coming from the T-junction, a USB card going to the, sorry, a USB um, cable going to the computer, an audio cable for the quadrature signals going to the audio card, and a jack for the antenna. This version of the PMSDR receiver has an internal switching board that's quite useful. So whenever I transmit from the FT2000, you can hear the click, the delayed click of the RF switching uh, machinery within the receiver. Otherwise, you will have to do something outboard. Then the software part. For logging, I use Logger32. It's a great software. I've been using it for years and uh, I, I couldn't quite find anything uh, like that. I love it and I keep using it. The pan adapter, which again, in reality, is a third receiver, is, uh, is done with um, WinRAD, particularly WinRAD F, which is, which is one of the many, how could I say, declinations of the WinRAD software. You find it easily on, uh, on the web. It looks is more appealing to me. The functionalities are practically the same. So what happens? If you look at the spectrum there, you don't see my hand, but I'm moving. Let's raise the volume a bit. I'm moving the VF, the VFO knob on the uh, on the FT2000. And you see that this is exactly what a pan adapter does. But I can also point and click from the spectrum and the radio changes frequency. Yeah. Right time to stop transmitting there. Same here. There you go. Or I can click and drag. Right? Precisely what would you do what you would do on a on a completely SDR radio. Oh big signal there. Let's go and see. There you go. But what I can also do Ah, I'm sorry, important, as I move around, I don't know if you quite actually make it out, but the frequency for the logging uh, software changes as well, either if I move the uh, VFO knob or I move around the spectrum. At the same time, here's a spot that's interesting for me, XW1B on 14.0.15, I double click here, the radio has moved there, where is it? Here. And inevitably, 
the, the SDR system has moved there. Crucial to the integration of the logging program, the, uh, the SDR environments and the radio, they're all using the same serial uh, CAT computer aided transmission control. Uh, and so you need virtual serial ports and this is achieved with VSPE, the Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. Very, very uh, nice piece of software. And here, I don't know if you can actually make it out on the screen, but I have a, um, a splitter. What is a COM4 uh, gets reconfigured as COM9 through VSPE. And COM9 is accessed uh, at the same time by the logging program, by the SDR environment and by the radio CAT. As I say, this is nothing dramatically new, but it's a slightly different application that costs a little less as you know, doing, um, doing uh, the pan adapter thing with the FT2000 is a bit expensive. If you don't want to use the DMU2000, you have to buy uh, an aftermarket thing from another supplier called the IF2000. Uh, and, and then uh, the, uh, the IF pan adapter system. Here, in reality, you end up having three separate receivers. One or two in the uh, FT2000 and one in the, uh, the outboard SDR. The performance of the PM SDR receiver are not quite as good as the, uh, the FT2000, but it does quite a good job of, uh, of pan adapter. I hope you found that interesting and I look forward to seeing you on the air. Cheerio then, 7 threes.